Trapper sucks. There's no way around it. I think he is arguably the weakest killer in Dead by Daylight. But what he may lack in strength, he makes up for in pure, unparalleled sex appeal. Regardless of this, if you aren't running meta or securing a 3 down, you're probably going to struggle going up against a competent team. So why am I playing Trapper then? You're probably thinking, um, Amishu, you idiot, you just said Trapper is the weakest killer in the game and struggles against a good team, so why the heck are you playing this loser? And to that, I say, please don't call me an idiot. Jokes aside, I'm playing Trapper because there is this fun, hilarious strat that you can run. It could, in fact, be even stronger than an epic 3 gen in the right situation. Ever heard of these things called exit gates? So I always love to yank on those bad boys after they gen rushed the heck out of you, destroyed your 3 gen, and bullied your little weak baby trapper. But thankfully to a few perks and add-ons, the game isn't over after that last gen pops. We have so much more planned for these poor, poor survivors. So this is the plan. We try our very hardest playing as Behavior's poster child and maybe even secure a 3 gen. But even better than a 3 gen is a 2 gen, or a 2 exit gate as we're going to be doing right after. Once we get to end game and the survivors are ready to work on some gates, they're going to be hit by a trap to the summon front of the gate, a blocked exit gate, a long ass time to open it, and then trap his eerie add-on that reopens traps after 30 seconds which will catch these survivors off guard mid gate pool. The total time it's going to take these survivors to open the gate is an insane 112 seconds. That's even longer than a generator and you can't even gen rush exit gates. These survivors are not going to see this coming and the games we played for this video were some of the most entertaining fun games that I've ever had playing as our boy Evan. Let me explain the build so you can understand how painful these exit gates are going to be for these survivors. Alright, so let's start with the perks. No Way Out is first, and even the name fits the theme of this build. No Way Out blocks both exit gates for 12 seconds base kit, and for every unique survivor you hook during the game, you gain a stack, and each stack blocks exit gates for an additional 12 seconds. With all four stacks, the exit gate gets blocked when a survivor tries to work on it for an entire minute. These survivors are stuck in the trial for an entire minute before they can even start opening the exit gates. Remember Me is next, and this part comes from the resident sleeper man himself, and what it does is it increases the exit gate opening times by 4 seconds every time you hit the obsession up to a total of 16 seconds. Unfortunately, the obsession isn't affected by this one, so we're going to have to tunnel the hell out of them before endgame. Terminus is almost essential for an endgame build. All survivors that are injured or become injured after the last gen is done become broken until the exit gates are opened. And those bad boys are never getting opened. Lastly, we're going to bring Pentimento. Now, this is kind of a Hail Mary considering we have zero hex perks and not a single Shattered Hope in sight, but if we happen to come across a squad of Bone Enjoyers, we can rekindle the totems at the end of the game, causing the exit gate opening speed to be decreased by another 30% once we rekindle four broken totems. I'm not expecting to get much value from this perk, but if we do, these survivors are going to be in for one hell of a time. Now the add-ons. Iridescent Stone is Trapper's baby for this build. Every 30 seconds, a random trap on the map is reopened. Now, the randomness to this would be difficult to use, but if we set up before endgame to make sure every other trap is still open, then we can guarantee it will be one of our exit gate traps that is the one to randomly open. Lastly, our final add-on is the Tension Spring. This bad boy is reset all by itself two seconds after a survivor escapes from it. So if they stand on the trap instead of disarming it, they're going to be in for a world of trouble. Now, we might switch this out for the Secondary Coil, which increases the time it takes to disarm traps by 50% if survivors just disarm our exit gate trap. This doesn't include if the survivor get unlucky standing in these traps multiple times with some unlucky escape attempts so this number could potentially be way higher. If you like these kinds of builds where we push the game to its limits then drop a subscribe. It helps me out a ton and lets me keep bringing these fun builds to you guys. Thank you again for sticking around and let's get into the games. Oh we got Wrecker's Yard? Alright. Um, this is a pretty good map I think. It's relatively small and we have Shark right in the middle. Alright all right. so first off we're gonna look for our best juiciest 3 gen. I'm thinking one two three. I'm thinking these three. Just the old, the old window trap. They'll reset this one. Or oh, they'll disarm it. Nice and wide to avoid this one. Uh, where are my traps at? Oh my god, I have to go on a fucking track to go get them. Bro, so frustrating. Two. Alright, so much for our three gen. That, oh my god. It's all them out. There are two different gens over here? How do they have so much progress? If only just spawned and she has sprint burst. Place on right here. She have to keep running. Oh wait, why'd she stay? Bro, you can't do anything. Of course I trapped the window. Bro, why would I not trap the window? He doesn't get that. Ah, uh, unlucky dude. That was a close one. Alright, we don't have to worry about picking up the trap one. That'll reset. We'll pick this one up. Um, because that's the only trap. Yeah, that's the only trap that's not open. So it'll be the next one to randomly open. I'll kick this one, I'll go over there and kick that one as well. There might have been the Dwight, which is why... Never mind, they popped it. RIP. Uh, oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. We have to grab her, because otherwise we'd hit her by right time. Good stun though, well played. Bro, you play Trapper, everyone just fucking rails the gens, we ain't got nothing here. This is that terrible trap, I better pick it up. Please be Dwight. 
It's Dwight and it's the McKellar, I'm pretty sure. Alright, hit on the Dwight. I'm actually on the traps, honestly. Nah, he's gone real wide. This one could reopen any second, that'd be pretty cool. Does he know? We just chase him around on it. Oh, we got him anyways, let's go. Alright, this will give us our second no way out stack. And our second remember me stack. Dude, if that trap were opened at our feet, that would have been so bad. Uh, that would have been so funny, though. Can you please stand in the trap? There's a pallet to your left there. You could vault it. You could totally vault that. Oh, my lord. I just want to push her into my traps more, but she's just not going there. I don't know where the other gen is. Where in the corner? My god. We'll check on this one. No progress. It'll be just be this one then. Probably set up the traps on the egg gates, even though we don't have much of a setup for end game. At least this way we can at least somewhat be prepared. Oh no, she got trapped. And we're across the map. Nah, that's unfortunate. Um, unless she has balanced landing, this is really good for us. She had balance. Nah, we still hit her there, that's good. Um, I want to put another tra trap over into this exit gate, and then I want to defend the gens a bit more. Oh, we got her as well? Oh, let's go. I don't have any gen progress yet as well, so I'm pretty sure. I heard footsteps. It's Michaela. Ah, uh, she's refusing to drop it. That's our third no out stack. We need to find Dwight again for um, more of memory stacks. We need those ones before no way out ends. Alright, place this one here. That'll do. At least that'll be the Dwight, at least. Because that's one we need really badly. It is the Dwight. Oh, dude, he's got nothing over here as well. That's so good. Three remember me stacks. Oh, surely he goes for the pallet. Or the, bro, we have a pretty trapped area here. He doesn't have much of an option, does he? Four remember me stacks. Let's go. All right, we're going to pick up this trap as well. Break pallet, pick up trap, pick up Dwight, hook him. He's out. We've already hooked him once before. This is something traps. That's fine. You do. Smart. Uh, I'm going to check on this gen here. I think she's chasing me because she knows that they want to do the gen. They did finish it. Unfortunate. Now, what are the chances that I can get the Michaela? Before. What? No. What the fuck was that? Oh, my God. All right. All right. So, we have three stacks no way out, which isn't the best, but it's also the worst. It's like 42 seconds. They did this trap. No way out's on here. All right. Let's get some injures. Oh, nice. Another Terminus on her. That was one that will reopen. Every other trap is open on the map. So, no out for a little bit longer. If she runs to the pallet to the right, that'd be so good for us. Bro, are you lagging? Why are you lagging? All right, Makila, let's get a hit on you. Then we have everybody injured, everybody broken thanks to Terminus. And then we can worry about everyone else. Oh, huge fake, bro. You're so good. You're so good. This Makila is insane. I hit that one, though. And the Dwight is stuck, which means he hasn't touched the other gate yet. They did do that trap. Then we had just ended. I'm going to replace this trap so nobody can do this gate. And that other gate will be the one that opens. Uh, how do I pick up Dwight? There we go. I'm still on the trap, so I should have immunity for a second. Oh, nice. And Dwight's our obsession, and this is his death hook. So this will be... Um, this will stop him from being able to work the gate. Now, that other trap should open any second now. And trap somebody else is what I'm hoping for. Please, please, please reopen. Right now would be ideal. Wait, she cut off the gate. Interesting. And she can't the pallet. Interesting. I'll reset this one real quick. Even though this gate's nearly finished. Um, just so if the other gate... The trap does get disarmed. Um... Yeah, like that. It'll be the one to very open whenever the eerie trap is open. Oh my god, they're both there as well. That's so good. <laughs> and they're teabagging. Uh, if only you remember me wasn't coming into play right now. Hello. I'll go for the Michaela, because I think... Wait, they're both running in the same direction? Yui, do you not understand how detrimental that is? I can just slug here and win. We haven't gotten even to the end. The good part, they're both dead! Michaela, you were so good during this whole game. What the hell happened? Oh my god. Nah, no shot. 
I'm not sure we get a 4k, bro. We were in a terrible position during endgame. They didn't even get the gates open. A trap should reopen any minute as well. So even if, for whatever reason, one of the Kubis and goes to the gate, they'll have to re-disarm the, re, uh, the trap. Dude, that's so good. What a comeback. There we go. It reopened once again. And we got our daily done. Hells yeah. Okay, so it turns out that for some reason, my trap at MMR is through the fucking roof. So, uh, good survivors don't cleanse totems if they don't have to. So we haven't gotten a single Hex Pentimento value in any of the games that we played. So we decided to switch it out for Blood Warden because Blood Warden is fun as hell. And it'll be funny having these survivors caught in the trail for another entire minute after they do finally get those exit gates open. We also switch over to the secondary coil just to try this one out for a little bit and see how it works with the build. Alrighty, on an, in on Blood Lodge. Alright, I think Blood Lodge will be kind of decent. Depends on the gen split and the exit gate split. But it's a pretty open map. I think we'll be able to get away with some stuff here. So wait, one gate there. I think the other gate might be at the back. Oh, we should be setting up right now, but I am desperate. Yeah, okay, they're not too far apart. They're not too far apart. That's not bad. All right, let's 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 let's, let's set up around this end because this is where our exit gates are and probably where they've spawned. Setting up around this. I think this is a nice little three gen here because those gens are very close to each other. Please don't be on this gen. Okay, nice, nice. Um, there's a loop here. They are deciding my trap. Little do they know? That's what we want from them. Wait, are they ahead of me? That's not far. That's Steve. Uh, we got a nice hit here. We don't want to leave him, but also I think our three gen is more important. And considering they're nearby... Wait, he comp cornered himself. What's he doing? Oh my god, that trap is so bad. I love to pick it up, but I, I need to get my... Oh no! Okay, we got Chuck That's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just going to pick up some random traps and just keep setting up in that area. Because it'd be the worst thing to lose one of these gens. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. They're on this gen as well. They did some both those traps. Do they have a map or something? We got this one too. Any pallets around here? Yeah, there is. Um, they're going to come and disarm these traps, but hopefully the eerie stone catches them off guard with the fact that they just reopen. Um, this is Jake. I do need to find the fong. I need to get some more downs for the end game. Because otherwise we're going to fucking struggle. And they booned! Alright, he's just gonna wait around here for me. Ah, uh, we get him here. Bur belly. Oh, we got him right before then. Okay, surely no power save. They're doing the gen next to me as well. Oh, they went for it though. They went for it. Oh, we'll stop this boon while we're here as well. Um, who's screaming? Oh, she's doing the trap! Was that a random trap? Bro, we didn't even place. Oh, she's out instantly. Alright, that's another three gen. Wait, somebody else is here. It's a fung. All right, we need to get hits on her. Set this trap here, because then she can't use the pallet. She might keep running. Mm, yeah, she is, she is. All right, if she runs to main, that's really good. We have it set up. Hopefully this one very stone soon. Oh, bro, she's in a world of trouble here. Oh, bro, she nearly ran into it as well. Yeah, she knew she had to take a hit there. She's at the TNL wall now. We only have to, wait, we have two gens left since when did they do all the gens? Please reopen that one. Oh, excuse me, what the hell was that? Wait, no, what the hell was that? I assume it's a resilience, but why the hell did that not land? Oh, we're struggling. Please, guys, please. We're bloodlusted to hell. This one has a little bit of progress. Wait, where's she running me? Do you have dead heart? I do not risk it. No dead heart. Alright, two room of me stacks. This is our second way out stack. Wait, Steve? Oh, he has a flashlight. I was terrified. He's not healed up either. So we're not in the worst position. It does save then. Oh, wait, she might. She stood me out of the random trap. Oh, bro, I need my traps to reopen, please. Thank you for the free hits. Uh, we have a trap up there in that loop, and then a trap in main. So if she goes to either of those, we catch her. She's come cornering me. Dead heart? Ayo, hey, what's she doing? Ayo, hey, bro, what's she doing? She knew? She looked confused as hell. I am she was trying to avoid my trap, but even then. So we're in a pretty good position, I think. Two gens left. Now. Oh, my God, we can camp. We can camp! Let's kick this gen. Uh, we'll leave that door closed because this is... We want to force them into that vault. We, we care more about our obsession. We need to get more Remember Me stacks. Um, alright. Oh, she did it! Nice. Alright, so now we want to run our way because if she does die on this hook, that'd be pretty bad for us. Wait, Steve? <gasps> Steve? Oh my god. Okay, please don't die, Fong. Please don't die. Please let your team come save. Hells yeah, alright, we can reset this one real quick while we're here. Because then if they do come to the policy or something, we'll be fine. Huge! Alright, 
And they did save her. Very nice. Now, she's going to fucking hate us for this, but we're actually going to have to tunnel her. I think we're going to get our last... Wait, that's our last no out stack? Oh, dude, we're in such a good position right now. I think, honestly, it might be better setting up the exit gates and the three gen now rather than going for the Fong. Because she, if she saves her that way, she'll fully heal up and then we can hit it twice. We've got the last two stacks in one go, in one chase. Um, what I'll do is I'll kick this gen, quickly put a trap in front of this exit gate, and then I'll go and do... I'll check the other gens. And then we can exit gate the other trap, uh, trap the other exit gate as well. Let me place it! Oh my lord. Oh, Meg, what are you doing? Oh, bro. Definition of a Meg head right here. Sorry, dude. That's a Steve. Dude, that's a pretty good trap for a random one, huh? Alright, before she does anything, we'll place some at the exit gate. I know she'll watch us, and she'll be scared of it, but it's worth it, trust. It's worth it, trust. I think we're in a pretty god darn good position. Oh my god, there she is! Oh, uh, please vault. Nah, she's gonna just run me to the other side of the map, which is the best play. So I don't blame her. But killing her now would be so good. Oh my god, please don't waste 12 years of our time. Please, just like... Don't do that. Is there bun fuss? Is the bus fun? It is not fun. That is good for us. Oh my god, she dropped it as well. Hells yeah. She's gonna drop every pallet in the goddamn world. They'll be on the other gen near main. Oh my god. Which I'm stuck. Bro, what was the play? Oh my god, she has bite the bullet. She's doing the meme. Oh my god. My YouTube video is outperforming her YouTube video. Oh my lord. That's so funny. Alright, uh, she's dead. So good. Holy shit. Alright, now defend our gens. Now different add we should pick up another... Why is that trap not reopening? I honestly think... I think the add-on's a little bit bugged. Where the traps don't reopen all the time. I think sometimes they just don't... Oh my god, no way he's gonna fall for it again. Oh my god. Oh my god, no, not that Meg. She's struggling. She's fucking struggling. Oh, we'll go... No, she got helped out. Nice hit there. Alright, Steve's injured. So now do we... Do we have a really strong 3 gen here? Do we commit to it? Or do we let them finish it? I think we should get one more kill, and then we should commit. And then we can let them finish, sorry. We get a free hit here. Big spins, bro. Big spins. Um, yeah, so some of the traps are busted where they don't reset. I'm not sure what if it's the positioning of them or whatnot, but that one hasn't reset all game. All right, they'll finish the gen. That Jake will go straight back. But if we kill her and down her, then we'll have so much time and so much pressure. No pallet here. She's literally got nothing. There's only a pallet directly ahead of you. And she's not looking behind us, so I can do a big old swing, and we don't get hit by dead hard. All right. Well, actually, while we're here, we may as well grab this trap. They'll finish the gen, but they have no way out to work with. Yeah, there we go. And they're broken. Oh, hell is yeah, dude. Hell is yeah. We got another trap in our possession. That trap is still fucking closed. We're going to pick it up as well. They can't heal. They have to disarm trap. They'll do something right now, I'm sure. Yeah, that one they did. Welcome to no way out, baby. Oh, they didn't even tap the gen. And he's just in the fucking trap, bro. These guys are struggling. Oh, my lord. That's so funny. Uh, he's out now. Uh, what we do is reset this one. Um, and that one reopen eventually, but we got a whole minute in this trial. I kind of don't want to kill them too quickly though, right? And I know they're not probably going to save each other. So we're just going to get juiced by this, Steve, is the play. So they're both broken from Terminus for so long. Um, no matter, still got another 30 seconds left. And then they have to do Remember Me on the gates. And the Obsession is dead, so they, they have the long ass time to open those gates. Is he going to hold W? Is he a W holder gamer? W holding gamer. Oh, excuse me, Jake. Do you like to hold W? Is that is that one of the things that you do enjoy? Yeah, he does. I may as well break this pallet. Oh, it reopened just then. Oh, huge. That's okay. That's good. It means that trap's not broken. Uh, remember the good old times? The good old days when you could sabotage trappers' traps and then he would be powerless? I remember those days. Another sabo. I'm oh, sorry. Another disarm of my trap. Hey, Steve. I'll replace this one. And I'll go for the Steve because the Jake will go for the other gate. He'll either stand in the trap again. Or he'll disarm it, and then it'll reopen while he's in the gate. That'd be pretty fun. And Steve is running over there too, so he did disarm it. Alright. Alright, this is the play. Now we now wait. We chase Steve for a little bit while he opens the gate. Please let it reopen. Because I know sometimes they bug out if they're staying on top of them. And they don't, like, re-catch them. Alright, we can we can just catch him. Oh, we can catch him right here. You double back. Oh, yeah, dude. Should be oh my god, the biggest dead heart of all of them. Sorry, Jake, because somebody's got to die. Today it is you. Oh, that one reopened? All right. So now we can just hook him directly next to it. Steve disarmed the other trap. Bro, these exit gates take so long, especially with the secondary coil, which takes it 50% longer to, to, to disarm the traps. He's going to be in that gate for so long. We're just going to watch it here. 
I just want to see what happens. We don't know if it's going to open or not. It could be bug. It could not catch him off. Once he gets to the second or third light. Mm, now, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna chase him out now. So I get that before he finishes. Oh, he left. L. Broke open the gate. Broke open the gate. I want to get a haha funny moment where the trap happens. Any hatch offerings? No. If he gets hatched, it's not a big deal. But we're gonna we're gonna fiend for this funny trap play at the end of the game. Please spawn at ha at shack. That'd be ideal. Right here. You do the other door. The other door has like a little progress. All right, no hatch. We are hatchless. No, oh, he's found it. It's gonna be main building. Or I knew it. I knew it. Please, come on, Steve, bro. You can do better than that. Do that door instead. Bro, this build's too strong. I can't even get to the pot where they get trapped. Disarm it. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, I love this, Steve. He's gonna be fun. Now, let's see if it reopens. Does he have time? Oh, he's already done part of the gate, though, so I don't think the 30 seconds will be up. Nah, it's like over halfway done, which means it's less than 30 seconds. Uh, we'll let him get out. He, he's been a bit of a, a, a bit of a bit of a fun one to us. Okay, don't finish the gate. Don't do it. Bro, what did I just say? Bro, the trap. Come back here. Oh, he left. Unfortunate. GG's. That was a fun one. We actually got so much value from those traps though reopening. They just spent so long working on them. Secondary coil is definitely a, a, the way to go. Oh, I saved the Steve with the purple beamer. Oh, dude, I love this game.